The commands that change how your font looks can be found in the font group, that's here, on the home tab. We'll just go over some of the more basic font commands now. Other less commonly used commands will be left for future tutorials. I think the best way to demonstrate the different commands is to select some text and use a command on it. So let's select this piece of text here. Now if we want to change this text font, uh, we can go up here, click on the down arrow, and we get a whole host of different fonts to use. So let's change this to Agency FB and you can see that the change has taken place. Moving along, if we want to change the size of the text to a specific size, we can use this drop down and change it to 18, or we can change the text incrementally by using the grow font, like so, or the shrink font, like that. Another thing you might want to do, especially for headings, so we'll just select this heading, is change the font colour. So with this heading selected, let's go to the font colour button there, and we'll change this one to be green. If you want to highlight some text, then select it, and then click on the highlight button here. That will give the text the last highlight that was used, uh, which at the moment it's yellow. But we can change that, and we'll just select the text again. Click on the down arrow this time, and this time we'll use red. Now if we highlight some more text, and just click on the main button, it too will be highlighted in red. In addition to applying these commands to text that you've selected, the current font properties will affect text that you're about to type. For example, let's just start a new paragraph by pressing enter there, and we'll change the font to be Courier New. We'll give it a size of 20, and we'll bold it. So now, when I type, the text has those properties. Another two commands that you're very likely to use are, just select this text, italic, and underline. How about some keyboard shortcuts? Let's select this word there. To apply bold, we can use Control B on the keyboard. Italic is Control I. And underline, you can probably guess, is Control U. You can see that those properties are active because in the uh, ribbon, the bold, italic and underline buttons are all highlighted. Now, these properties act like toggles, so if you use Control u again, that will take the underline off, like so. Control b takes the bold off, and Control i removes the italic. There are many more font properties that are available when you click on the dialog launcher here, but we'll save looking at those for a later tutorial.